Hey there, my name's Angie Ashi, and I'm a sports dietitian and a proud partner of Kodiak. There is nothing more incredible than the human body. It's adaptable, resilient, and can take us on wild adventures. And whether your adventure is summiting the world's highest peaks or waking up every morning and getting the kids to school on time, our bodies, and most importantly, the food that we use to fuel our bodies, keep us getting after it. Today, we're going to go over a few of the basics when it comes to fueling your body. Epic adventures need proper fuel, and that all starts with breakfast. Eating a well-balanced breakfast can help you have more energy, improve concentration, and help regulate your appetite and blood sugar levels. What does building a balanced breakfast look like? Well, you want to try to include four components, a source of protein, a source of healthy fats, a source of fiber-rich carbohydrates, and color. One of the most common issues I see with breakfast is people consuming far too little protein and fiber and far too much added sugar and saturated fat. Here's a few examples of how you could build a well-balanced breakfast. You could do scrambled eggs with bell peppers, whole wheat toast, and avocado. You could do Kodiak whole grain power waffles with banana and almond butter on top. Or you could do roasted potatoes with chicken sausage, some mixed veggies. Or you could do Kodiak protein-packed oats with chia seeds, walnuts, and blueberries. On your quest towards looking for the right fuel for your adventure, it may help to understand the basics of a nutrition facts label. So here you'll find the serving size, which indicates the amount of food typically consumed in one serving. Then the calories per serving, or how much energy you'll get from consuming this food. And then you'll find the macronutrients or macros listed. That's carbohydrates, protein, and fat. Under carbohydrates, you'll see it broken down into dietary fiber and sugars. As for vitamins and minerals, vitamin D, calcium, iron, and potassium are the only micronutrients that are required to be on the food label, but food companies can voluntarily list others if they'd like. If these percentages are 10% or more of your daily value, that indicates that it's a good source of that micronutrient. If it's over 20% or more of your daily value, that's considered an excellent source of that micronutrient. The part that I look to the most is the ingredient list, so you can see where these nutrients are actually coming from. These are listed in order, descending order, by weight of the ingredients. I like seeing whole food ingredients like 100% whole grains listed first. The types of fuel you're using to energize your body are important, which is why I recommend sticking to whole, real foods as much as possible and taking into account the nutrient density of those foods. What do I mean when I say whole, real foods? I mean fruits, vegetables, whole grains, legumes, nuts, seeds, fish, and lean meat. All of these foods in their simplest forms are nutrient dense. So nutrient density refers to the quality of the nutrients in the food beyond just the calorie content. Foods that are nutrient dense offer a wide variety of vitamins, minerals, and essential compounds that are important for our overall health. These foods are often rich in vitamins, minerals, fiber, and polyphenols or antioxidants, which provide several different health benefits. Here are those foods I just mentioned again. Fruits, vegetables, whole grains, legumes, which are beans like chickpeas and lentils, nuts like almonds, cashews, seeds like pumpkin seeds, chia seeds, fatty fish like salmon or lean meat. Which one of these do you wanna start eating more of this week? Follow Kodiak for more nutrition content coming soon.